An anonymous 343 employee speaks up about the current state of the company right now, which doesn't really look that great. Previous Halo Infinite map leaked images are actually starting to look kind of legit now. Top pros, content creators, as well as members of the Halo community all chime in about if Battle Royale is needed in Halo Infinite. So if you guys want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Kevin here once again, giving you another Halo news and informational video. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. And it also greatly helps out the video and channel within that all famous YouTube algorithm. Let's not waste any more time and get right into those details. So a few glass door reviews have been actually left on about 343 and talking about after the launch of Halo, seeming that, that things within the studio aren't exactly going that great. A screenshot of this review has been kind of going around the internet quite a lot, saying that it used to be great, but becoming negative lately. This employee says that they've been here for more than a year and it was posted up back on March 6th and that they don't recommend that the CEO is kind of aggressive and also a business outlook not looking that great, meaning that the future of the business is looking kind of, well, not that great for employees. Uh, same pros, I have some great coworkers. These people will always be friends for life and they taught me a lot and are nice and interesting, which is great to hear for comes to work, but there's a lot more negatives coming in with here, saying that 343 used to be great. Managers were positive and approachable. My team and I were given challenging, interesting work a few months ago. Something happened, which could have been the release of the game, honestly. Uh, even positive managers became aggressive and critical. Workloads became suffocating. It was a great place to work, but now it's a job where I watch the clock waiting to leave. I know that feeling all too well. <laughs> My team thought it would be great after the launch of the game, but it's like gotten actually worse. This is over most teams and some of our key employees are starting to leave for other companies, which we've actually kind of seen quite a few full-time employees at 343 are leaving actually recently. Now, the important thing to take a note about Glassdoor reviews that literally anybody who makes an account can post on this, but um, I don't really know many people trolling on Glassdoor to try to get clicked for internet social media purposes. But just keep that in mind that this also could just be a fake since they are cited as an anonymous employee. But there are some other negative reviews that have gone live as well. Here's another two-star review saying that the great team and product, but horrible tools and management, which this is actually kind of a theme that I've seen from 343 when it talks to Glassdoor reviews that oftentimes it's great what they're working on and it's a really fun place to work at, but the stuff that they have to use to actually work on stuff and upper management not really being the best experience. Some of the cons citing high levels of non-mandatory crunch, toxic and incompetent management, and awful and outdated tools and engine. He also mentions about contract workers coming in and not really having a chance to go up to full-time employees and also just says for advice for management is to just not be toxic. Another review citing big corporation feel good PR with toxic culture inside. Citing that the pay is good and the benefits are great and also that it's more cool working on Halo but again citing management being kind of toxic not knowing what their, what their job is and stuff like that which again this is also very par for the course when it comes to anyone who has leaves a negative review. There are also plenty of positive reviews about 343 as well, but the general theme that I've seen from a lot of these Glassdoor reviews that it's a really cool place to work at, but necessarily it's some of the people that work there, like especially the management I've seen a lot of times, uh, get cited as not the best experience and also oftentimes they get the tools that they have to use cited being not so great either. Though when I actually had a conversation with a previous employee of 343 who helped out with a lot of the level design on Halo Infinite's campaign, he said that he never really felt that restricted by the tool set by Slipspace Engine either. So this could be down to like an individual basis, not representative of the entire experience of working at 343 because you're always going to have like disgruntled employees or people who just did not enjoy their time working at the company. But the main thing is to notice trends. And that's the trend that I've noticed that the tool set for working on Halo Infinite has just never really been the best. I've cited, heard a lot of things citing it's old and that's difficult and slow. Since Slip Space Engine isn't technically a completely brand new engine, what they did, and they said this on stream previously, that they basically tore the engine down to its basement level roots to make sure they can still maintain that same feel of Halo, probably with like the physics and like the movement of controls and stuff like that. But then we reworked it back up to be able to pump out content faster, which 
doesn't really seem to exactly be the case. As we've received no weapon sandbox updates whatsoever, the Mangler's still out there doing wrecking havoc and competitive right now. Uh, the crashes are still very common, which I experienced last night. That was fantastic. UI problems all the time. Like 343 even stated that they would want to put more playlists in the game, but the UI issue, which after looking at Halo Fits UI, I can kind of understand where they're getting at. And the season one has just felt like a total drag, honestly. The main thing to take away from this though, that to remind yourself that there is anecdotal evidence that things might be kind of iffy over at 343 right now. I'm sure a lot of people who probably, probably majority of people over there would most likely leave positive reviews, but there's always gonna be some people who are just not gonna enjoy their time with the company. And of course, these get highlighted more than just positive reviews because if you hear people are liking their jobs, well then what's there to share, I guess, when it comes to getting clicks and news and information. But if anything else pops up from this, guys, I guarantee I'll let you know on the channel here. Now, the YouTube channel Delta Archive recently posted these images, which we've seen circulated around the internet before. I didn't cover because they just look way too, well, Forge-like to possibly be an actual map. But one thing in particular really caught my eye when it came to these placeholder images of these maps was especially the one that looks exactly like Catalyst right here. This image right here, which is kind of like a reversed angle from what we had from the paint over image that we got for season two reveal. You can keep an eye on the structures here, like this walk up, there's a pad right here, this structure up here. Like I've seen this image before, like I said, being circulated around, but once you actually watch it kind of transition into the actual image, you're like, oh my God, this is like, the exact map right here. You can see here the same kind of architecture that has taken part of this image right here. Let me go back so you guys can see what I'm talking about. You got the pillars right there, the exact same kind of bumps and the ramps up there, the walkway up above. You go into the actual image of Catalyst and there's that walkway, the, some bump ups right here, the, you know, the ramps are going up, this geometry right here. Like this is looking actually kind of legit, uh, but some of these other images look do look kind of iffy. Like this one might be also like a, a cell block version of the map as well. If you guys don't not know, the, the way the developers make maps in multiplayer at least is that they will do a cell block version that looks kind of like this to make sure that like everything is kind of working properly. That's like playing or playing as intended. And then they'll go in and add all the textures and stuff like that. So. This stuff right here could be legit when it comes to maps that we'll have released. Like this one right here with like the, the train track, it's just looking kind of, well, iffy. I would say when it comes to a legit map, and this is also titled Bath Salts, which is like, okay, this could be just a meme, but like we don't have actual, like they don't provide any cell block versions of Berserk Breaker over here, which is kind of interesting. So again, just kind of keep in mind that like some of these leaked images could be legit, could be false. I mean, that's kind of the nature of leaks that you kind of have to take them at face of value that you can't really be like, this is actually happening with the game. You just kind of keep in mind like this is, I always kind of have fun just kind of checking up on leaks and information. Go like, hey, what if? That'd be kind of cool, right? And sometimes, well, actually a lot of times the leaks end up being legit. As Catalyst and Breaker were both announced within that March blog update, we do have another blog update coming up in April, which I guarantee I'll break it down all down for you guys here on the channel. So make sure you subscribe, but we'll catch you in that one as well. Now this statement could be just because of how stale Halo Infinite is right now, or it actually does legitimately need it. FaZe Snipedown, who's one of the top pros within Halo Infinite right here, who's been very vocal about his displeasure when it comes to the current state of Halo Infinite, said that Halo should have spent the last six years making the best battle royale possible with all of the available lore while using Forge World to create multiple maps from previous Halos as points of interest. Do that and update Halo 5 competitive settings for tournaments, arena shooters, is just stale AF, man. And then I totally understand. So you're basically just saying like, go back to playing Halo 5 and we just make a battle royale. And I'm just like, man, I just don't think that's really the right move to make. And some people agreed, some people disagreed. Friend of the channel, Late Night Gaming here, did say this in a response to him saying that Halo Infinite's issue stems not from being an arena shooter, but how unfinished it is. It's lacking content and features that Halo games used to ship with to encourage folks to play and form communities. A BR would be awesome, but not having one is not the reason why the game is stale, which I would totally agree with that statement that it definitely feels stale because we've just been playing the same few maps over and over again with standard modes. We don't really have anything new to play in the Halo franchise, like big team battle and arena, which is what we've been playing in Halo for the last 20 years. Remember Courage JD? He tweeted out saying that like he loves Halo, but absolutely needs a battle royale to survive. Well, he actually replied to this as well, which is kind of interesting saying, man, I got slaughtered by the Halo community and read it for 
you know, I'm saying that Halo needed a battle royale, then the industry has changed. Respawn area shooters don't hold the audience that they once did. Too much competition out there with much better clutch slash intense and rewarding moments like Valorant, CSGO, Endgame, Apex, and Fortnite, which I would totally agree with that. I mean, that's one thing that even the developers at 343 stated that they made like attrition because they wanted to have a mode that does more of a crescendo in the map rather than just having like just continuous action. Friend of the show as well, the act man says, Halo shouldn't have spent the last six years making a complete Halo game or, you know, tried releasing it in three essentially. <laughs> like, yeah, like, I don't know why it took so long for us to get the game that we got. We also mentioned saying arena games aren't stale AF, modern gaming is stale AF, which I could totally agree with that one as well. I think that the big holdup for Halo Infinite right now is just like, modern gaming in general where you basically you just kind of release the bare bones product and then you just kind of add on to it to kind of keep people interested with these updates now i would agree that going with like the 10 year plan for halo is the right move to make we've been trying so hard to try to reinvent the wheel when it comes to halo where we're trying to be inventive when we really need to be iterative meaning that they don't really need to keep reinventing the wheel every like two or three years like we have had with halo and really just release like essentially halo modern halo 3 is kind of what we got with halo infinite to use that as the game base and just kind of keep adding more things to it because we know it works with halo like we've experienced it it's had success we just need to have it happen again but in the modern era because games like counter-strike global offensive which released back i think back in 2013 in an awful state everyone hated that game back when it released but after iterative fixes that actually ended up being great and they haven't really bothered to release a new game because why try to fix what's not broken now when it comes to Counter-Strike Global Offensive. And I'm hoping for the same experience when it comes to Halo because the core gameplay aspect of Halo Infinite is just so good. It's so good. It's what keeps me coming back to keep playing this game. The issue really is just the lack of things to do in the game right now that's causing people to get bored with it. And the ranking system just being overall kind of frustrating and not really clear for the user. But this is pretty much what I figured for the first year of the game is that like it's gonna be kind of a rough go for the first year. Like we've, I've experienced this with, you know, Master Chief Collection. Uh, we kind of also experienced it with Halo 5 a little bit as well. Uh, we also experienced this with Battlefield 4, uh, with also Destiny 1 and Destiny 2, which, you know, Destiny 2 is thriving now. And so many other games that just release in not the best state for their first year. And that's kind of modern gaming that Act Man would say. But this is where we're at right now. But if you guys like these news and informational videos and want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure you subscribe. If you're new to the channel and missed any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got a link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos right there. We got the Halo TV show coming up this week which i will be doing reviews on each episode guys so make sure you subscribe to the channel i'll catch you on the next one peace out